Hi guys and welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today we're going to be showing you a demonstration on how to use the coolant tester tool. That's this type of tool here and it has the, uh, the coloured discs in and the little squeezy, uh, the squeezy top. This is kind of the most uh, kind of cost effective and most common uh, way of uh, testing your, uh, your coolant. So we're going to have a little look at how this works. Okay, so when you come to test your uh, your coolant, uh, what the uh, coolant uh, testing tool uh, does effectively, uh, it's got a, a range of uh, temperatures which are which are marked kind of on the on the front there, and that tells you. Um, how uh, resistant to temperature that the coolant is. So it's kind of the, it shows you the uh, the condition, the state of the coolant, if you like. Now obviously, as coolant gets old, it becomes uh, less efficient, uh, which is why it does need to be changed. So first thing you need to do is pop the, uh, the cap off of the uh, antifreeze reservoir at the top here. There we go. Now obviously, you want to make sure that it is cold when you do this. And then there's no danger of uh, any boiling coolant coming out of the top. So it's, it's nice and cold. Uh, remove the lid. That's going to give us the access that we need for the test. So what we do for the test is basically you insert the uh, the nozzle in. Before you do that, you squeeze the air out of it. Insert the nozzle into your coolant, and let it draw. And let, when you let go of the uh, the squeezer, it'll actually pull the uh, coolant up into the uh, chamber. Now when it does that, as you can see, all six discs are floating. But if you pull it out. There, a little, little bit of air in, just by squeezing a little bit out and then put your finger on the end and then we can kind of see what the results of this test are going to be. Now as we can see there we've got uh, three that are clearly floating and three that uh, are sinking to the bottom. So on this particular coolant uh, we've got uh, three. So we look down the list to number three which is just about where that yellow disc is uh, settling. As you can see we've got Fahrenheit and the uh, Celsius uh, range there and we can see on the, uh, the degrees C uh, this is protected up to minus 23 degrees C. So as I said for the UK uh, that's ideal. Uh, anything kind of um, over minus 20 uh, that's absolutely perfect. So this uh, coolant's in uh, good enough uh, condition uh, currently there's no problems with this particular coolant. Like I said that, that temperature that you're aiming for will vary depending on what country you live in. So be sure to, um, to check that before you run this test. Your goal isn't necessarily the same one that we're using here in the UK. Uh, but that's it effectively. That shows you um, uh, how it works. It's the number of discs uh, that float uh, that are counted. And obviously when you finish, just put the coolant back into your reservoir and that is the test completed. So once you've done a test and you've seen the, uh, the condition of your coolant, uh, obviously if your coolant is failing the, uh, the, the temperature test that you're trying to get to, depending on your country, uh, then obviously a coolant is time for a coolant change and so that should be done. Assuming that you're happy with the coolant, uh, pop your cap back on and uh, make sure you do it up nice and tight and uh, then you should be uh, good to go. Like so. 